Okay, so here we go again. Um, we're in Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2. We are actually in the 4.11 book and not the 4.10. So this is chapter two, uh, Windows Server Update Services, WSUS. Uh, we are doing activity 4.2. Configuring Windows Update with Group Policy. So, it says in here we are going to start in Server 1 and log in as the administrator. Don't mind if I do. And then in Server Manager, click on Tools and Group Policy Management from the menu. So I was already in here. We're going to go to Tools, Group Policy Management. On the left pane, click to expand the domains. Oh, here, let me do this again. Click to expand the domains right there. And then click to expand the 411 DOM local. And the reason why, well, anyways, right click group policy objects and click new. I'm going to go ahead and push cancel because I added this already. Um, and then my recording totally bombed and I had to and the Blueberry recording software. Um, but you are going to type in, or whoever's following along is typing in the WSUS-desktops and then clicking OK. And it will show up right here, WSUS-desktops. And then You'll right click and push edit in the group policy management editor, navigate to computer figura configurations, then expand policies, then expand administrative templates, and then go to Windows components and all the way down to Windows Update. And just so you can see where it is, in the right pane, double click Enable Client Side Targeting. So that's right there. And click the Enabled Option button. Like I said, I've already done this because my video just went kaput. And so I'm re recording it right now. Um, And then you'll want to make sure you put in desktops right here underneath the target group name for this computer. After that and that is done, then you just click OK down here on the bottom, which you can't see because my screen's not big enough. And in the right pane of the group policy management editor, double click configure automatic updates. And that's up here. So also we want to enable this one. We want to make sure we choose option three, um, auto download and notify for install because you are not configuring clients to install update automatically. You won't configure a scheduled day and time. This is the option you would likely choose for servers. For desktop computers, option four, auto download and schedule the install is a better choice. So we're going to pick number three and click OK. If we could see the OK button. I hate that I have to get in and out of my screen every time just to navigate up and down a little bit. Um, okay. Next, you'll tell the client's name of the 
WSUS server where they should download the updates. In the right pane of Group Policy Management Editor, double-click Specify Intranet Microsoft Update Service Location. That would be that. Make sure you stay inside your screen so when you click, you don't make everything go crazy. Okay, try it again. <clears throat> and then make sure you're enabled right here again. And then in your options box, it says to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 411 server 2 8530 in both text boxes and then click OK. Browse through the other policies available for Windows Update so that you know what you can configure with Group Policy when you're finished. Close the Group Policy Management Editor and the Group Policy Management Console. And next, we are going to go to Active Directory Users and Computers and create an OU named Desktop. So how you do that is you just right click, go to New, and then the OU organizational unit. You'll go ahead and click that. However, I've already created one named desktops. After you do that, well, here it looks. It's easy schmeezy. And put your desktop's name in there. And then click OK and it'll populate in there. Then you want to move the 4.11 Windows 8. All right, I'll move it back. So now that you have your desktops folder and it's empty with no computers in there, you'll want to go to your computers file, get your 4.11 Windows 8 computer, right click it and click move to your desktops. And now it's out of computers and it is into desktops. And now we can right click and oh, we are going to create a user in the users folder. Go to your users and then right click and you want a new user so then you're going to name it Windows 8 user with a login name of Win8 user and then you'll go to next and type in the password 01 and then make sure you change it to never expire. So we're going to go Windows User, just to be a little different from the first one that I made. And then it's going to go when whatever. Because we can't have the same login name. That would be ridiculous. And then put the password here. Uncheck this. Check that. Well, the password can never expire. And then you'll go to next and finish. And then you'll get your Windows 8 user, which is right here. And then, then open your group policy. Group Policy Management 
and right click on your desktops. All right, group policy management. Right click on the desktops. And click link an existing GPO in the select GPO dialog box. Click the WSUS desktops and then click OK. OK, I already linked it. And then we're going to go and log in on Windows 8 and make sure that the group policy has been applied. So, all right, so now that it takes forever to power it on, we will log into the Windows 8 user account with the very secure password that we use. And we're just going to right click on start and essentially check and make sure that the updates that you just did applied in your system settings. So we'll go to Windows Update right here and ta-da! It says updates were installed. Never! Because you receive updates managed by your system administrator. And in the book it says that you should see that settings, the settings that you configured through group policy have been applied and updates are managed by your system administrator. And if the settings haven't been applied, type group GP update slash force in an elevated command prompt and press enter. Then refresh the Windows update window. And the GP update command causes the computer to download and apply group policies immediately. So that's that. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it will be more wildly entertaining and not be recorded at 3.30 in the morning.